the global conference following the announcement in the that Stockholm tried to bring back the relational issues of man-nature complex in the backdrop of the first changing environmental and ecological imbalance. In order to have a comprehensive understanding of this composite subject, academia across all professional disciplines have engaged themselves very thoroughly throughout the world. This urgency is being increasingly felt, especially in the context of the present devastated human scape in the very recent time. People are now trying to go back to their traditional roots of excellence available in the old and rare document on human. The Asiatic Society Kolkata, being the oldest center of learning and research, as well as the custodian of many such old documents in the form of valuable manuscripts in the area of human knowledge, presents here an old Persian manuscript of 17th century, which depicts a detailed account of flora and fauna of that period on the occasion, on the occasion of the World Environment Day today. Namaskar. On the occasion of World Environment Day, we, on behalf of the Asiatic Society Kolkata, feel rather enthused to celebrate this significant occasion, imperative for the protection of Mother Earth, which is intervened with our basic survival also. As we all know, World Environment Day celebrated throughout the globe on 5th June is United Nations principal medium to make the entire world aware about protection of environment. Now this year, against a grim and dismal background of a raging pandemic caused by a fierce pathogen and several other natural disasters brought about by the fury of nature, the theme for World Environment Day 2021 is ecosystem restoration. But we should bear in mind that this awareness about ecosystem and environment is nothing new in Indian concept. In stark contrast with Western view, which believes in subjugation of nature by human, ancient Indian mind believed that nature and environment 
are inseparable parts of our very existence and as such should be protected with utmost care this concern about nature and environment led this the author of vedic sheer to echo absolute cohesion and solidarity with nature i quote from atharva veda ata bhumi putro hante sibya art is my mother and i may be considered as her son this idea of concern about nature laid our greatest cultural icon rabindranath also to nurture and advocate the idea of ancient tapobana where all species of nature live in peace and perfect harmony so in the asiatic society we are in indeed privileged in the sense that asiatic society kolkata a rich repertoire of me- of nearly 50000 manuscripts contain several manuscripts both in sanskrit and persian where flora and fauna of ancient india biotic and abiotic elements and their relationship with human life had been described in minutest details why simply to exemplify our concern about environment in several manuscripts of ayurveda we have elaborate description of the medicinal qualities of herbs which had not lost their relevance even today even in contemporary context too i may quote another text in drobbo guno satosh loki by moniram mistro we have discussion on latent beneficial qualities of certain objects used in our day to day life that ancient indian mind was conscious of the utility of trees for protection of environment is evident from a manuscript bottle sabitri puja where the bottle tree has been eulogized and worshiped as our benefactor as a matter of fact it was sir william jones founder of the asiatic society who started the process of initiating discussion and botanical observations of select indian plants in pre independence india with this introduction we are i am now going to present before you a partial manuscript of 17th century farhan e aram sahi written on handmade paper by hidayatullah lo muhammad muhsin al qureshi dedicated to the emperor aurangzeb this is an elaborate naturalistic encyclopedia of india containing vivid description of animals plants minerals etc with illustrations though fragmented in nature the content has been systematically arranged in several sections namely insects snakes and the method of treatment from snake bite scorpions classification properties of different animals etc strangely enough this manuscript contains section on agriculture and geology dealing with hills wales in a nutshell mother earth itself 
This particular manuscript is rich in its description of flora, fauna, and natural resources of contemporary period, showing thereby what I have mentioned earlier, concern of the age about various manifestations of nature and their protection. Now, in today's world, when we are devastated by fury of nature, when we are feeling absolutely helpless as to how to cope with this situation, let us take this pledge on the occasion of World Environment Day in tune with what our ancient shears and predecessors prayed for in Jajurveda. I quote from Jajurveda, I translation first, let us look at all species of this world as our friend and let all the world consider us as its ally. Mithrasya ma chakshusha sarvani bhutani shamikshantam Mithrasya hang chakshusha sarvani bhutani samikshe Mithrasya chakshusha samiksha mahe Namaskar
on this world environment day today i'm going to talk to you about farhang e aurang shahi which is a fabulous illustrated manuscript in the collection of the asiatic society kolkata the 17th century illustrated manuscript of farhang e aurang shahi is essentially a natural history encyclopedia written in persian in the indian nasthalik script catalog under the author hidayatullah muhammad muhen al qureshi this manuscript contains descriptions and drawings of not only plants animals fishes birds reptiles but also of geological elements like minerals rivers hills and doubly served as an compendium as well as a manual plants like cypresses different types of lilies and weeping willows have not only been illustrated and described but for other medicinal herbs and plants a manual have been provided of their medicinal qualities and processes starting from the plantation to ointment making in this manuscript for the faunal illustrations as much as these are there are uh, several depiction of indian origin animals like crocodiles scorpions or snakes there are also many illustration of fishes like golsam or noon also called as ham noon or sam noon and dragons which are of mythological nature and are abundantly found in islamic texts stylistically speaking this manuscript can be very easily distinguished from the grand mughal manuscripts produced in the ateliers of akbar or shah jahan neither as grand and ornamental not the handiwork of great mughal masters like abul hasan basawan or manohar the illustrations of this manuscript are evidently guided by a scientific approach of natural history use of subtle muted natural palettes of greens browns and blues serves the encyclopedic purpose it sets out to achieve the significance of this illustrated manuscript lies not only in it being dedicated to emperor aurangzeb but more importantly in providing us a unique insight into the nature of scientific documentation and circulation of knowledge of natural history in 17th century india this is an invaluable manuscript in the collection of the asiatic society of kolkata thank you surat e darakht e anjeer e baghi सूरत अंजीर दश्ती नाम हाइए अनाब जबान हिंदी ओ फारसी ओ अरबी फसल नाम हाइए जनमून बर जुबान हिंदी फसल सूरत दरख्त जानमून सूरत दरख्त अंजीर बरकोहे तिलस में दरबयान खर मोहरे फसल अव्वल दरबयान बू अलमून दरबयान पीपल फसल अव्वल दरशिफात पीपल फसल दोम दरखासियात पीपल अज दस्तूर मीर अबुल कासिम फरिश्ते फसल सोम दर खासियात पीपल अस ख्वास अल कदीम नुस्खा खती ई तस्वीर माही बतख व सफर व सूरत
The colorful illustrations on nature's creation, the plants here, people, fig and fruit tree, and animal like fishes along with their values to man are truly par excellence. Particularly in the days of Aurangzeb, a thousand years before. I am also astonished to see that the artist Hidayatullah was not an artist only. His drawings, particularly of fishes, are so detailed with minute and unique external features that can be possible by an ichthyologist only. This shows what a deep sense of feelings and close intimacy the artist had with beauty and intricacy of nature, which was only possible through love and affection to the nature. But unfortunately, the modern man has lost the sense of gratitude and respect to the nature, which provides all essentials for successful living on the Mother Earth. The nature, in terms of ecosystem, has been degraded due to endless greed of humanity and indiscriminate acts which indicate man's loss of respect to the nature. We the people are therefore greatly suffering due to degradation of ecosystem and for this ecosystem restoration is this year's theme of the World Environment Day to make the people aware and to take positive action towards restoration of ecosystem. The United Nations has also declared 2030 as the decade of ecosystem restoration to save the nature and for sustainable development of humankind on the mother earth.